Hello there everyone, UXW Bill here with a video that is definitely not in my usual style. It is not typically something I do to make an unboxing video unless I know that someone is sending me something that is either interesting or even humorous. However, in this case, I'm making an exception because what you're about to see is actually pretty darn cool. Now before I get into what this is, and those of you who are watching in high definition may very well know if you can make out the manufacturer name or even the part numbers, I want to share with you a little bit of the backstory behind this item. I was traveling around the web looking at some blogs when I saw this particular item mentioned and I thought to myself, you know, I'd kind of like to have one of those. I could see it being very useful. But I figured that like similar items, it would be either difficult, expensive, or possibly even both to get a hold of one. You can imagine my delight when I discovered that to this very day, this product is still manufactured, and in fact I will be including a link in the video description that will enable you to get your own, should you so desire. So what is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's go ahead and take a look at the description here, and you will see right away that it is a ThinkPad USB keyboard with track point. That's right. If you have ever wanted a ThinkPad keyboard and pointing device that was not associated with an actual ThinkPad and would plug into almost any computer, albeit a weenie modern computer with a USB port only, as far as I know, this is the item you're looking for. Let's go ahead and open this up here. I've gone ahead and broken the seal on the box. I'll go ahead and flip this open. And you can see that is exactly what this thing is. Basically a disembodied ThinkPad keyboard. It includes most of the special function buttons that would be present on a ThinkPad. And while it's probably intended to be used with a ThinkPad or other Lenovo computer, it works just fine with any computer that has a USB port. And as you can see, it is a single connector. So I doubt very much that this thing is backwards compatible to a PS2 only system. Luckily, any halfway modern computer should be fine with either a USB or PS2 input device. Though some older computers, particularly the first to have USB ports, may not have complete or even available emulation of the keyboard and pointing device for operating systems that are not USB aware. Let's go ahead and take this thing out of the shrink wrap here. Don't know if I can actually do this one-handed or not. Well, I can if I go about it that way. <laughs> Let's see what we get here. You can see the buttons. You can see it even says ThinkPad on it. How's that for having the total experience? Now, true ThinkPad computers will have a couple of more functions and buttons up here, but it's close enough that if you're not a stickler for details, it wouldn't be a huge deal. So you get that, and it's about that thick, if anybody's actually wondering. And of course, this is what it looks like on its underside. You see there's an informational label there, flip-out stand feet that you can use to prop it up should you need to do so. And then there is a booklet full of safety information and information about the product CD. I suspect that in this case the product CD might be useful with some computers to make the uh, various function keys on this keyboard work as they should. However, you probably don't have to actually use it. I'll go ahead and hook it up here in a moment and find out. But there is the device driver and user's guide information for the keyboard. So with all that done, Let's go ahead and hook this thing up and see how well it happens to work. Now here's a handy random computer set up for the purpose of testing out this ThinkPad keyboard and pointing device. As you can see everything's up and running here. We've got a mouse pointer. And I reckon that's the first thing to talk about. This utilizes the IBM, or now Lenovo, track point, which almost looks like a misplaced eraser there in the middle of the keyboard. The style and shape of this thing has changed somewhat over the years, and now it's kind of a flat textured dot on the keyboard. But the buttons have remained pretty much the same, and they work pretty much as any other pointing device does. The pointing device itself seems to be pretty darn accurate, and it's not a problem to do things like moving around on the system, dragging windows around, clicking on things, that sort of stuff. Give this thing a moment to come up here. You can see a picture there in the preview and all that sort of stuff. And of course, it's certainly not a problem to go into your favorite paint program 
and just draw something at random. You know, whatever you want to draw. Just like that, it's done. And so using the track point device on this thing is pretty self-explanatory. There's not a whole lot I can demonstrate there. Not a whole lot of exciting stuff to say about that. As far as the keyboard goes, the keyboard is not bad at all. This thing is no Model M, but neither is it a $2.50 rubber dome special. It's a very good little keyboard for what it is, and it has very impressive key travel and tactile response, as you might be able to hear there, for something that is no more than about, oh, half an inch or so thick on average. Go ahead and get some footage of my typing on it here, just so you can get an idea. I'll just go ahead and type some random words into the computer here. And that's pretty much all there is to the keyboard. I'm hopeful that you can get an idea of what it sounds like to actually type on it. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention some of the special function keys on this keyboard. Like other enhanced keyboards, this one has a couple of special function keys that are commonly found, such as a volume mute, volume adjustment, and even a microphone mute over to the right there next to the Think Vantage button. However, there are a couple of other special function keys on this keyboard that might be useful or interesting depending upon your computing needs. In particular, I have in mind to mention these two keys next to the upward pointing arrow key just right below the Shift key. They look like two documents, one with an arrow pointing backwards and one with an arrow pointing forwards. And when you are in an application such as a web browser that can actually make use of these, you can press the backward facing key to go back, or you can press the forward facing key to go forwards. And you can actually move multiple steps depending upon where you have been with regard to your history. And so that's about all I can think to say about this thing. It really is a pretty neat piece of equipment, especially if you're doing like I am right now and using a computer in a particularly tight space. While I suppose that this is somehow really intended to augment a pre-existing ThinkPad or even the Lenovo desktop computer, it would be pretty nice as far as compact keyboards go for use with a machine that doesn't normally have a keyboard attached to it, such as a server or a firewall or even some other kind of network appliance. Anyway, thank you for watching, and feel free to leave a comment if you have one.